So I got messages almost every day about what kind of project we should build to get a job. In this video, we're going to talk about that. And not only that, I'm going to suggest some ideas which you can build on your own with the help of AI or like if you have enough or sufficient knowledge, you can build just by yourself to make money. I mean, coding is just not about grinding. It's about building something. And the aim of build most of the time is to sell something. And in this video, we are going to talk about those projects. So let's get started. So think of getting a job getting a job as an outcome so this is an outcome so people are fixated too much on getting a job which is an outcome and they forget one thing which is an input what kind of input you need to provide to get this outcome well either you need to learn coding i mean well not you have to learn coding right and with the help of learning to code and with the help of that you need to build projects and that projects will get you here. So that's the cycle. You need to learn coding, which you probably should be doing right now. And you need to build projects with the help of that learning. And these projects should be able to get a job. Or in some cases, you might be able to make some money with those projects. Okay, so now let's talk about what kind of projects you can build. So get a job here and we create a circle around that the first thing you can do is you can use ai so ai is pretty popular these days there are a lot of lot of different tools you can use either open ai you can use cloud or there are other cheaper options as well DeepSeek is one of them so you can pick those options and you can build products so think of building a product like a pyramid so that is your stack, which is like, you can use anything like Next.js, you can use like Python, you can use Ruby and Rails. And on top of that, on top of that, you can put AI. So AI will handle a lot of heavy lifting. So a lot of things, AI will do for you and on top of that you will have your product so like how can how can you think about these things so so let's say you're building a resume builder right and you can build a resume builder for yourself you can build it for your friends I mean any of your friend should be using some kind of resume builder either they'll be using like a word document or some online thing to make their resume why don't you give them a solution say well i made this why don't you use it so in resume builder you can use as i, I was mentioning you can use your tech stack like next years and on top of that you can put open ai apis now let's say a user goes to your site and gives you in information in points like I have done this I have my schooling this is my grade and everything you take that as an input and you can ask AI to convert that into like a beautiful page which is handled by next year's let's say I'm just giving an example you can use anything but all the data which you're filling will be coming by open AI like you will be using your coding skills here and leveraging OpenAI to convert these points into something which can be put inside a resume. So I'm just giving you an example like what you can build with products like that. So you can use AI. So that was like the first thing. And if you don't know, I have a cohort I'm running where you can build those apps with other follow developers. So if you're interested, please check out the link below. So it will take you to some kind of form which you need to fill so that I can contact you when the cohort is ready to take new students. Another kind of project you can build is using some external APIs. External APIs. Like you can use X, you can use Instagram, or you can use YouTube or Reddit. So if I come here, let's say you are using 
uh, Twitter API or you can call it X or Reddit because they have their open APIs which developers can use and they mostly they're paid so that's why like, I don't recommend too much but you can make some kind of products and sell it B2B I mean business to business you don't have to like you have to find users I mean those users will be businesses who would take some information from Twitter Reddit or YouTube and you can use that data and you can create an app so there are, there are different apps like you can go to like there's a app called social blade that's using uh, Instagram and YouTube's APIs to build the product and the people who subscribe to social blade and for some dollars or some X amount basically do that for any other platform so this is just an example like what kind of products you can build uh, to get a job like you can Put that in your resume that you have built something or you can just make money and i'm not saying this is easy this not no way this is easy but you have to practice maybe you build your first product and that doesn't go well then you build second third fourth and you never know like which product will be picked by users so so this was two now let's take a third example which will be You'll be using, you'll be building your own, you'll be building your own backend system. So, so instead of leveraging like other APIs, you'll be creating your own APIs. Now, this will help you to understand databases. This will understand how to create, actually create APIs, how you can do authentication so there are a lot of different things you can do uh, when you make your own APIs, when you uh, make your own backend. And there are different languages, different frameworks you can use. You can again use Next.js. You can use Django. You can use Ruby and Rails. Laravel. So there are a lot of different options which you can use and you can build different products for it. I mean, the options are endless you can build your own youtube i mean you can host videos you can make your own social media because see social media like when we use we, we think like it's an impressive ui everything is cool like the photos but most of the actual work is handled by the backend system like how they calculate likes how they calculate comments how can you you can reply to comments all those things coming from this so if you want to like get a job if you're like aims to get a job rather than building products or like making SaaS things. So you should you should focus more on this part rather than like building these things like B2B or rather than using AI stuff. What you can do, you can just make your own thing, make a little bit bigger so that you can you can demonstrate that you know like how this thing works. So I would recommend, highly recommend doing that if you are a kind of person who's more looking for a job rather than uh, building your own thing. So that was number three. And now, I'm sorry, we have very less space here. Sorry for my handwriting as well. We can build some kind of game. I know some of you probably interested in building games, right? You can surely do that. There are a lot of different resources. And for game development, if you especially want to go into game development, I won't recommend like to doing JavaScript or TypeScript. I mean, you can use it, but you can learn like Java. Or you can learn like C sharp. I think like I'm not too much into games, so I'm not too sure if like what's going on in the game industry. But I know like you can use Java. Minecraft is actually I think built on Java. There's a lot of game like built on Unity. I don't know if Unity is somehow related to C sharp. I'm not too sure. I don't think so. But Unity is I think kind of a framework gives you like physics model and everything so that you can build your games. So you can host your games on like iOS or Android. Or Steam, and there are a lot of different platforms, or just web if you, you can use JavaScript to put that on web. So it's totally up to you. You can certainly make money with making games. Uh, and it is a really good demonstration if you want to become a game developer that to make games, right? This is what you'll be doing. So why don't you build those things? And not even that. I mean, 
making games will make you a better developer. I think everyone should try to make some kind of games. I did that. I mean, those games are horrible. I mean, you don't want to play them, but I just try like, how can you... The example I can give you, like maybe you want to make uh, a speed, uh, a, a keyboard speed. I mean, you're typing speed, sorry. You're typing speed game where you'll type something and then you can calculate how fast you're typing. So the, just giving you an example, like you can do a lot, a lot of different things. And this will certainly make you a better developer because you, the amount of stuff you have to do to make game is just like nothing compared to like these, these web apps. They're, they're comparatively easy. But with the games, you have to do a lot of different things. So I recommend building small, starting small, so that you can learn those skills. And so that was our point number. I will write it down. Point number four and point number five will actually be actually building some SaaS apps. And I think I gave you some example before, or you can call it like micro SaaS, totally up to you. So SaaS is software as a service. And sometimes people call it micro SaaS. Because see, literally everything is SaaS. So micro SaaS is like you take a portion of an app, you can take a byte and you can create a feature around that. So this is your feature and you can, oh, and you can sell that. I mentioned like there's a, there's a SaaS like text behind, behind your photo or your image. So that's a SaaS. You can build some kind of music uh like you can build on top of spotify and you can build something like habit tracker so what you can do is you can create a platform an app or web app that will just track some habits maybe it's like reading or like workouts so all those things will be tracked by this app and you can post it on different channels like you can app store or google store and you can put on monthly subscription or you can put it on yearly subscription or like one time fee and that's it you'll make money i mean you build something and you can use as i mentioned above you can use certainly use ai even i would highly recommend building micro saas application on top of ai because ai will do a lot of heavy lifting for you you don't have to do a lot of stuff just like in our resume builder, like people will give you points. You take those points, convert it into paragraphs. And with the help of UI, you can just showcase those points. And there's an option you can download as PDF, right? A lot of, lot of different stuff you can do. So those are like basically like five things, sorry. So those are like basically five things you can build with AI, with external APIs, with building your own backend system, with building games, and building micro SaaS applications. A lot of things I still can cover, but I don't want to make it a super long video. Uh, but this is a basic idea. And I think that's it from today's video. It's, uh, I hope you like, you like some of the ideas here. If you like it, I can make more videos. Of these kind where I will demonstrate like what kind of application you can build and it's a good mental exercise for me as well to think about what can we build and how can we build so i didn't i didn't cover a lot of how here just give you some options and i think that's it from today's video i'll see you next time with new video thanks a lot for watching